welcome to another episode of Surviving Adulthood. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Rose, and if you're returning, welcome back. In today's video, as you can tell by today's video title, we're going to be talking about taxes. Specifically, doing your taxes on your own for the first time. I am not a tax preparer, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not an accountant, okay? But I will be sharing my experiences. I've done my taxes on my own for about three years now. Some years I've gotten it right, some years I've gotten it wrong. Um, and I've learned some things along the way that I would like to share with you guys in case you're going to be doing your taxes on your own for the first time this year. If you guys are interested in seeing this video, then definitely keep on watching. If you enjoy the video at the end, please make sure you to give me a big thumbs up. If you've had more experience than I've had doing your taxes and you want to leave any advice down below in the comments for anyone watching, please do so. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, Please make sure that you do, and I will see you on to the rest of this video. Alright, so first, as far as my experiences, as I mentioned in the intro, I've done my taxes on my own for about three years now. I've had two good years and one year where I messed up, but um, as far as my background, which is going to be very important as far as doing taxes, I'm single, so I'm unmarried. I don't have any dependents. This year was the first time that I had a dependent, which was my mother, but I don't have any kids um, to file with me as a dependent. And some years that I've done my taxes, I have been in school, and other years I have not. I was not in school. But in 2018, I was in school, so that's a little background about myself and i wanted to share that with you because for me doing my taxes is really not that difficult to me it's kind of like filling out your fafsa so if you were in school and you filed for financial aid and you had to go through that step of like having the right papers next to you typing in the information to me doing your taxes is pretty much the same but that's because my situation is not that complicated now if you have kids if you um you know if you live in one state but work in another all those things are going to complicate doing your taxes a little bit more but as far as from my experience which is what i'm going to be talking about right and not from a professional perspective just from my experience doing your taxes is really not that hard right i feel like on the basic level it's pretty easy first of all depending on the um, software that you use i usually use TurboTax. i've used uh h&r block before um but i found that TurboTax is just the easiest for me um so depending on the, the software that you use it's pretty like self-explanatory a lot of the things if you don't understand you can click a little question mark it'll give you more information most times as far as like reading your w2 and knowing what to put in what box it it literally says like what was your blah 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 look at box number so it's pretty easy sometimes i can even pull up your w2 without you having to like have the information next to you and try to enter different information so to me it's really not that hard i think where taxes can get a little bit more complicated is when if your situation is complicated as i mentioned like if you're married or if you worked in one state but live in another and also when you're like when you want to get as much of a refund as possible which i know everybody wants to do right so when it comes to that part knowing the little tips the little tricks that you have to do in order to get more money that's where it gets a little bit more um complex but other than that to me doing your taxes is pretty easy it's it's like filling out a fafsa like it's really self-explanatory so that's number one don't get too like intimidated by it to me i was super intimidated you know i kept waiting to find somebody that i trusted to give my information to in order for me to file and then i sat there and i did it and it was super easy so the first thing is that you know it's really easy you don't have to worry too much about it so my first tip um, for doing your taxes on your own for the first time is to be patient right wait for all of the documents that you will need in order to to do your taxes and if it's your first time and you're really not sure of the documents that you'll need you can look online the documents generally that you'll need is of course your w-2 the w-2 is a form that gives you the total amount of money that you've earned throughout the the year that you're filing for and also um the amount of taxes that you've paid 
towards different things like social security, your health care, things like that. So generally speaking, you'll need your W-2. You'll need, uh, if you went to school, you'll need your 1098-T form, which just like your W-2 tells you the amount of money that you paid for your schooling throughout the throughout the entire year. So now it'll tell you how much you paid in tuition, but as far as the amount that you've paid in books and things like that, it won't say it on that form, but you yourself can just take a mental note of the books that you had, the books and different materials that you had to buy throughout the year in order to, um, in order for you to be able to go to school. So wait for all the documents that you'll need. So before submitting your, your, um, your taxes and your taxes just like your fafsa you can pause it not pause it but like log out come back to it it's not something where you have to sit there and submit it all at once so you can take your time wait for all of the documents that you need if you know that you work in several different places throughout a specific year wait till you receive all your w-2s before submitting your um your taxes because it could just be like once you submit your taxes it's really hard to go through that process of filing a different form and making changes to your taxes. So the first tip is to wait for all of your documents. I'm not saying wait to get started on your taxes, but wait till you have all the documents. You can go on, let's say, to TurboTax or whatever software that you choose to use, but start filling out the information, but do not submit until you're sure that you received all of the documents that you need that you need such as your w-2 your 1098 form if you went to school that previous if you went to school that previous year and um your health care forms that well if you live in new york your health care forms that basically tells you that you um you were covered you you were covered for health insurance the entire year the second tip is of course just like the first one take your time and triple check everything as i mentioned already it's so much easier for you to take your time, right? From the first time you get your first W-2, which usually is around the ending of January, you have the, from the ending of January till April to do your taxes. Like I know we're all in a rush to get our little refund check, but take your time. It's so much easier to just go back and forth, ask questions, Google things, um, you know, ask whoever you need to ask and make those changes before submitting then submitting and realizing oh damn like i have another w-2 i have to put that in or whatever the case may be it's so much harder to you know fix it once you mess up so take your time and triple check everything even the things that you feel like oh yeah i understand what that means no click the question mark button google sometimes different um different taxes software they have an option where you can chat with an expert online and get all your questions answered sometimes they'll charge you maybe like 30 40 dollars but it's better that you pay 30 40 dollars to speak to an expert to get all your questions answered than do your taxes wrong and then have to pay the government thousands of dollars later on so take your time and triple check everything so my fourth tip is if you're like me and you're single and you make a decent amount of money some ways that you some things that you can do to increase your likelihood of getting a refund check are number one you can open up an individual retirement account as long as you're making contributions towards that um the more contributions that you make towards the ira the individual retirement account the the more it increases your likelihood to get a refund check because what will happen is it lowers um your gross up i don't want to say your gross amount but it lowers basically your taxable income and the less income that you have that's taxable the less the more likely that you receive a refund check and as far as the individual retirement account you have up until your taxes are due which is april 15th to make a contribution towards it i believe the maximum contribution is two thousand dollars so let's say 2018 you know that's the year that we're filing for let's say the the year that we're filing for is already closed you can still make um contributions to your ira and making contributions just means you can still put money into that account and the more money that you put into that account the more it lowers your taxable income and the more it increases your likelihood to receive 
your refund check. The next thing that you could do is if your job offers this, offers the pre-tax plans, you can definitely join those pre-tax plans and those things will help increase your likelihood of getting a refund, um, getting some money back. So the pre-tax plan is basically, so for example, where I work, the pre-tax plan allows me to take money from my check before it even hits my account, before the taxes are even removed, allows, um, well not me, but allows my employer to take money out of my check and that money will go towards me um, uh, traveling, like taking the public transportation, or it can go towards parking. If I had a child, it can go towards childcare um, expenses. It can go towards healthcare expenses. So like when I pay co-payments and things like that. So that money is taken out of my check before the taxes are even taken out, which lowers my taxable income. And again, the lower your taxable income, the more likely that you would receive a refund check because it would, I guess, look as if you made less money than you actually made throughout that year. So my fifth and last tip, hopefully this video is not too long and not too boring. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying it. So the fifth, the last tip, my last tip is basically doing your taxes for the first time can be so overwhelming, right? It's it just, to, at least for me, it was just so scary because I didn't want to do the wrong thing. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to go to jail for tax invasion. It's very overwhelming, right? But as I mentioned, you have from the ending of January to April and you have the, the, the rest of the entire year to learn different things learn different tips and tricks, know the forms that you should be filling out and just getting the most out of, you know, having to do your taxes. You can learn. You don't have to go through your entire life relying on a tax expert or somebody to do your taxes, especially right now while your life, you know, if you're 25 like me and you're unwed, you don't have any kids, especially right now while your life is really simple it's the best time to try to learn how to do your taxes on your own so i hope this video was helpful again this is all from my experience there's so many other things that i'm sure i did not touch on because this is like doing your taxes at the most basic level i'm not an accountant i'm not a financial advisor i'm purely talking from experience from the basic things that I do know. If you guys have any questions, I can um, you guys can leave it down below and I'll do my best to answer it. But if it's something that's, you know, too complex, <laughs> I'm gonna advise you to find a tax expert and they can definitely help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you return back to my channel for more tips on adulting. Thanks so much have a great day a great night wherever you are and i will see you next time right here on surviving adulthood cause girl you like the water to my soul your ebony complexion helps me grow yes it did one day i'm finna turn you to my queen